Hello again, bicycle friends on YouTube, and a special shout out to the readers of Jim's Tech Talk on RoadBikeRider.com. I'm out here in the front yard, down on my knees so I could get up close and personal to the rear derailleur on this bicycle. This is an old cyclocross bike of mine. It's a steel frame, custom built steel frame, and it has a steel derailleur hanger. A derailleur hanger is sometimes called the Achilles heel of the bicycle because if the bicycle falls over or if you crash a bicycle, the rear derailleur, because it protrudes from the frame, hits the ground first and that often bends the derailleur hanger. On a steel frame, if you bend the derailleur hanger, you need to straighten it. On an aluminum frame or a carbon frame, the derailleur hanger is often replaceable. You just remove a couple bolts and put a new hanger on. I'm excited because Park Tool has come out with a, uh, you could call it a higher end or a higher level derailleur hanger alignment gauge. This is the standard version that they've had for a number of years. This is still available. Steel construction, welded, beautiful tool. We've used them for years. You thread it into the derailleur hanger and you have a lever arm to straighten the hanger, but you also have a gauge here that tells you how bent it is. So this is the original tool, and we're going to show you is the upgraded model, which is a very impressive new design by Park Tool. So here's the new one, where the old one is welded steel construction, the new one is cold forged aluminum. It's hollow. It's constructed like a seat post. So I'll show you more details of this beautiful new tool. I'm very impressed with what Park has come up with. It's a lot lighter than the old tool. It has a very precise action. All the parts move beautifully. There's no play between the parts, which makes it a beautiful tool for checking things and fixing things, straightening the hanger. The full instructions on using the tool and aligning a derailleur hanger gauge are on the Park Tool site, and I'll link to that in the description. But the reason you want to fix a bent derailleur hanger is because it makes the derailleur shift poorly the derailleur can actually shift over the top and into the spokes because usually what happens is the derailleur gets the derailleur hanger gets bent in towards the frame so two things will happen that sh it will hesitate shifting onto the smaller cogs In most cases this is the symptom and then it also has a tendency to shift over the largest cog which can cause the chain to go right into the spokes and in a worst case scenario the derailleur might go into the spokes which can tear the derailleur hanger off and can ruin your wheel and the derailleur so it's a very expensive repair. Um, that's why you want to fix a bent hanger ASAP. To show you how a derailleur hanger alignment gauge works the first step is to take the derailleur off. Uh, it's easier to take the derailleur off if you get the spring tension to relax. There's a lot of spring tension in the cage and that makes it hard to unscrew it. So if you drop the chain, you can then have an easier time unthreading the derailleur hanger. And you don't want to mess up the threads. So you work carefully when you take this out and when you put it back in and when you thread in the derailleur tool, the hanger alignment tool. One of the cool things about Park's tool is this threaded end is replaceable. Just this tip here, you can unscrew it with an Allen key. It's a five millimeter. So you can unscrew it with an Allen key and replace it. You probably won't strip it, but if you use this tool enough, you can wear out threads on any tool. And this just comes out and get a new one. That's pretty cool. I like that they use what look like little anodized valve caps on the end of this handle here. That's pretty cool. And notice that there's a set screw to adjust if any play develops in this part. It's absolutely no play right now. So now I carefully thread this in to the hanger. And you want to thread it in all the way. And the first thing you do is you use the tool as a, as a gauge. That's what this is for, the pointer. You swing this 
90 degrees to the tool. It slides up and down. So you can take a reed and you bring it in until it hits the rim here. And this has a graduated scale so you can read the scale. It's touching there. Then you swing it down to 6 o'clock. So we were at 12 o'clock. Now we're going to swing down to 6 o'clock. And then we bring it down at 6 o'clock and we see if we have the same measurement at 6 o'clock as we have at 12 o'clock. This bike is out a few millimeters, which doesn't surprise me. This bike was built in 1985. It's been ridden by three different people, lots of different races. If it's out, you use the handle of the tool to gently straighten the hanger. Don't go crazy. Even steel hangers bend without massive force, and you don't want to go too far. Just like bending a coat hanger too much, it'll break. You probably wouldn't break this, but you'll weaken it if you keep bending it back and forth, back and forth. You try to make small, precise adjustments. Usually that's all it takes. So after you check 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, you also check at 9 o'clock. And the reason this tool swings out of the way is you can come over here and measure at 3 o'clock. and 9 o'clock and check that too. Those four checks, you get it close, usually you won't get it perfect, but you get it close and when it's close you know that the derailleur hanger is aligned and the derailleur will shift properly and you won't have any problems with it over shifting or under shifting or hesitating. This is a handy tool to have and it's the only accurate way to adjust a derailleur hanger. You can do it with an adjustable wrench or a pair of pliers if you had to on the side of the road. But with this tool, you can measure what you're doing and make a very precise adjustment and get it very nice, which is uh, a good thing to do if you have a bicycle that you want to shift really well. And some bicycles depend on it. If you have an electronic drivetrain, if the derailleur hanger is bent, uh, even a minor amount, it can affect those drivetrains because they're very, very precise the way they shift. This tool has a beautiful action. You turn this, it's very nice and smooth. It's chrome-plated or nickel-plated steel, and it's inside this hard anodized aluminum body. And then this is an injected molded composite material that slides really nice on the aluminum. And it's all adjustable. There's a little set screw here that lets you adjust the position when this is 90 degrees to the tool and there's a little set screw here if this were to develop any play but there's no play it's very smooth little o-rings on either end keep the tool keep the pointer from coming all the way through i think you'll really appreciate having this tool in your toolbox or on your workbench I've got to say that I'm really impressed by this Park Tool DAG3 DAG3 Tool Derailleur Alignment Gauge 3. Their newest version, they've really uh, pulled out all the stops to make a beautiful new higher quality precision tool that's a joy to use. I'll finish the video with some glamour shots with all the details on the tool, so watch for that. And uh, thanks again for watching my videos, and please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.